Hi everyone, Ben Made Easy here. Today I want to talk about a gr group of a class of drugs called SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. This is a very common class of drugs that are basically for depression and anxiety and they treat many other things as well. And so I want to go over se several tips today that you should know as a healthcare provider. Now let's begin by showing a list of some different common examples. You probably recognize some of these. One of the things that you notice is the endings. So this is an important way to be able to see and remember. Um, let's get into the tips now. Number one tip, it can take four to eight weeks for them to work. Now many work a lot sooner than this, but they need to be consistently taken and you need to give it time. And so this is something that is really important to tell patients because they think that tomorrow they're gonna take it and they're gonna feel immediately better. They may notice some differences, but it's important just to make sure that patients realize that it's not gonna be 100% effective um, in just two days. Info tip number two, don't stop SSRIs abruptly. Sudden absence of increased serotonin levels in the body can actually cause withdrawal symptoms. Now, SSRIs are not generally habit-forming or addictive, but it can lead to physical withdrawal symptoms if cessation is abrupt. So you need to make sure that you are talking to your provider, um, your primary care provider, when you're deciding to come off of those medications, you have to do it very slowly. Um, WebMD actually used a great analogy as in the case of like diabetes. If you stop taking medication, it's likely that your glucose is going to increase and so you're going to have physiological side effects from that. So basically, you should not stop them too quickly. Now, some SSRIs have um, decreased chance to, for withdrawal symptoms. These are particularly the ones that stay in the body longer um, or that take longer to clear, like Prozac, so usually there's not as many withdrawal symptoms. SRI, SSRIs that stay in the body for shorter periods, like Celexa, Lexapro, Paxil, Zoloft, are more likely to cause those withdrawal symptoms if it's dropped abruptly. Now, I did put a little uh, list here you can see of withdrawal symptoms, anxiety, mood swings, flu-like symptoms, headaches, and loss of coordination. These are just a few. There are many others. On to tip number three. Unfortunately, SSRIs can cause sexual dysfunction. And this is actually a common side effect of SSRIs, and it actually increases with age. Here you can see a list of some of the sexual dysfunction that comes along sometimes with SSRIs. Now, Paxil, or paroxetine, the generic name, is associated with the greatest rate of sexual dysfunction among the SSRIs according to one study. Let's move on. Number four, SSRIs can cause serotonin syndrome. And this generally happens when there's more than one medication taken that increases serotonin in the body. Serotonin syndrome, it's a group of symptoms and basically it can have anywhere from very mild symptoms to very severe and you might see high temperatures, um, agitation, sweating, dilated pupils, diarrhea. Uh, it's a very uncomfortable thing and this is usually because of high levels of the chemical serotonin that's accumulated in your body. Tip number five. Individuals who are under 25 years old have increased risk for to develop suicidal ideation while they're on SSRIs. So this is something that I warn to most patients, even if they're not 25 years old, but if they are under 25 and I'm thinking about putting them on an antidepressant, I need to think very carefully what antidepressant they should be on. Monitoring the patient is also extremely import important and also asking them beforehand if they do have any kind of suicidal ideation currently. Number six, SSRIs can treat more than just depression. You treat uh, several other different conditions, including anxiety, bipolar, bulimia, mood disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder, and PTSD. These are just a few of the things that they treat. And different SSRI medications may work better on one of these different diagnoses than the other. Um, Prozac is sometimes actually um, given for panic disorders, um, sometimes OCD, whereas something like acetalopram won't see that quite as much with that, but definitely um, these things can be treated, um, can be used for different things. Tip number seven, 
separate MAOIs and SSRIs by two weeks. It's important that these two are not taken together and that there is a washout period, basically. Now, MAOIs, they, I don't see them prescribed as much anymore. They have a lot of different foods that you cannot eat with them, and so I just don't see them prescribed as much anymore. And so this isn't typically a problem, but this is something that you might see on a test. It is often driven in pretty hard because of the problems that can come from these two being combined. Number eight tip. Side effects from SSRIs, when you first start them, a lot of times you may notice some different things like indigestion, dizziness, dry mouth, excessive sweating, problems with sleeping, headaches, nausea. These are all things that if you just stick with it, a lot of times they'll go away. Now, of course, if they are excessive, that you, you will want to report that right away. But uh, a lot of times I've actually seen in real life that they actually do go away. It could take a week or two. Sometimes some people it takes a little bit longer. Um, things like palpitations, chest pain, shortness of breath, those should be re reported immediately. And also things like suicidal ideation, obviously that should be reported immediately as well. Well, that's it for the tips that you need to know as a healthcare provider about SSRIs. I hope this helped, and also please put a comment below if there's any other tips that you can think about. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can make sure to catch our latest videos, and also give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. I will do more of them.